Hello everybody, it's Jay. Welcome to another 5PD episode. And not really sure whose house this is. Oh, wait. It's not a house. It's our new sheriff station. Stopple found this uh, somewhere in the 5M universe and installed it. We've made a couple of changes to make it ours with uh, at least one more change uh, coming. So we'll do a quick tour here and then we'll hit the road. So obviously this is the uh, the break room area. Uh, you can see here our logo, uh, our badge on it, and then Department of Public Safety with the offending many, protecting none uh, slogan. A uh, little area for the canines here. We got here, this is the sheriff's office. Uh, the sheriff's not in right now, so we're just kind of walking around and seeing what's going on. Yeah, you'd think being the sheriff, he'd have more files. Over here is just a another office, kind of a report writing room. Again, with our badge on it. Uh, this is what I really like, is these pictures of... Uh, looks like somebody took screenshots and put those into the game. I just, I thought that's really... Really nice touch. Um, and over here is the briefing room. And then finally across the way here is the dis dispatch center. Uh, looks like uh, so we had some rain move through here. Should be clearing up. Dispatcher must be on break. So we're going to head down these stairs over here, and I'll show you the jail area. Alright, so we come all the way down the stairs here and come into this little basement area. Um, yeah, I forgot this. This is the evidence room here. So, see a lot of, a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff, stuff just laying around. And then when you get past the evidence room, this is the locker room. Oh, the jail's upstairs. And then the locker room's got a full bathroom in it. And, you know, for any officer that wants to take a bath. So, that's the basement. So we go up these stairs, and you go through this set of doors, or this door here. It takes you into the lobby. So, lobby's been redone. Looks very nice. Uh, again, here with the... Uh, Different pictures of, oops, picture of the original Sandy Shores and the newly renovated Sandy Shores. Uh, when you go through this door here, to the left you have the reception area for the desk officer. So they can be there. I'm sorry about Titan in the background. He's in a whiny mood today. I don't know what to do. And here's our armory. Well, the armory, I should say. Come back out these doors and off the other side here. And you've got your... Uh, your mugshot station. Come through here. Your uh, booking area. Here's your interrogation room. And this is what I like about this. Reflective on this side. But then you go into this door, the observation room, and you can see through it. So it's true two-way glass. A couple, uh, a couple cells, I should say. And then uh, the exit out to the back. I think uh, the developer of this, I'm not sure who it is. Like I said, Stoppel found it, but the developer did a great job. And then they added in the... Uh, the little garage area here. Functioning doors. A little notice notice board, which... Uh, <laughs> gotta love the, the hand flyers. But, yeah. Welcome to Sandy Shores. Alright. 
So we're gonna get in here and get our patrol on. Actually, we gotta swing past the armory. Because I... Because I don't have any weapons. So we'll swing into the armory and get our weapons. Which I could have done back there because it's just a menu option, but... Since we have an armory, we might as well get our, our weapons. Hi, how you doing? Uh, I just need my uh, my loadout here. Maybe. Possibly. Hello? There we go. Alright, thank you very much. Yep. Alright. Let us get out here. Let us get on the road. And let us see what we can get into. Alright, today we're going to be patrolling in the 2018 Chevy Tahoe. It's a nice, uh, nice model, uh, Thero made. Uh, so, in the meantime, let's go ahead and go 10 8. And see what kind of calls we can get into today. Ooh, that is a tight turn. Been dispatched out to a very small vehicle on Route 68. It actually looks like it's back here within the uh, satellite dishes. We were right around the corner. So, I'm gonna head that way, see what we can find here. Oh my. All right. Not sure why this thing's all the way out here. Uh, 145, I'm going to be... 1050 outside the prison with an airport tug occupied one time. Hi there, good afternoon. Deputy Larson, Blaine County Sheriff's Office. The reason I got you stopped is uh, the the vehicle is not really street legal. Now, I know you're not on a street; you're on the um, dirt road. But that's uh, th those things don't typically leave the airport. Do you have your driver's license, registration, proof of insurance on you? Okay, Mr. Horn. Um, what? Where, where'd you get the vehicle? Okay. Just trying to see. Oh, uh, documentation, no. Um, that, well, Mr. Horn, sit tight. I'll be right back with you. Like, right now, I mean, he's not on the road. Um, and the tug's not showing stolen. Mm 
but his driver's license is expired. 47 year old male, no criminal history. So today is 7 21 2021. It is 14 37 p.m. Location uh, Rolling Broke Prison. And it's going to be a $175 ticket for driving on an expired driver's license. Da, 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 expired driver's license. All right, Mr. Horn, do me a favor. Uh, I need you to go ahead and step on out of the vehicle there. Thank you. So here's the deal. You're getting a ticket today. Uh, your driver's license is expired. Um, it's been expired for a bit. So you're going to be getting a ticket today for driving on an expired driver's license. Um, I cannot let you drive the vehicle. Uh, so I'm going to have to get it towed out of here. Uh, but uh, once you sign down here at the bottom of the ticket, not an admission of guilt, just saying that you will take care of it. You were free to go. Do you have any other questions for me? No? All right, sir. You have a good rest of your day. No, no, sir. Excuse me. Hey, hey. Hey. Oh, this guy. The problem is, if I go to pull him over again, um... It's going to be a different, different person, different scenario. So we're going to go 10-8 off of that. And looks like we're actually getting sent right away to a drunk biker. So let's, uh, let's head out and see what that, what that's all about. And they're asking code three. I don't know about that. Oh, look, that's just down where we uh, were a second ago. All right, so we're coming on the air, in the area here of the drunk biker. Okay. He is trying to run from us on a bicycle. Yeah, it won't even let me trigger the traffic stop on him. All right, so uh, 145, we're going to be in pursuit of this bicycle. It's going to be a yellow bicycle uh, with a male, male on it, green shirt. Looks like uh, gr light blue or gray jeans, black shoes. Currently westbound on 68. Looks like he's continuing westbound on 68 past uh, Joshua. And we're going to continue westbound. Okay, this is silly. Why? Dude, stop. Stop your bike. Oof. 
Yeah, I can smell the the booze from here. Definitely smells like some uh, some cannabis too. All right, we're gonna try and get ahead of them here. Jesus. Dude is hauling. I know what the game wants me to do, but I don't want to do it. Because all he's doing is running. But I don't want to hit him off the bike. Thought maybe he could run into the back of me. That did it. Hey, stop. Stop. You're going to get tased, homie. Taser deployed. Don't move. Don't move. Oh my god, dude, what was all of that about? Uh, 145. Show me with 11015. You have anything on you need to know about guns, knives, bombs, hand grenades, anything like that? Some wine. Okay. Get in the car. One second, folks. Hi, right, dude. What? Uh, what's your name? Howard Spence. This bitch can you run me a Howard Spence five thirteen nineteen ninety three S P E N C E Howard Common. You come back valid. Why? Why are you running from me like that? Is it just because you're uh, you're intoxicated? Here, blow into this for me. Ooh. All right. Point one. Hi, Mr. Spence. Well, you, today you're going for fleeing and eluding without violence. I'm not going to write you for riding your bicycle while drunk. I mean, I was just going to talk to you. Um, but, you know, you took off on me. That you got to deal with. So. All right. I'm just writing down the uh, serial number of this bicycle here. And we're going to get tow on the way to pick it up because I don't... I don't have enough room in my trunk to take it. And while we wait for uh, all that stuff to get here, 
Let's see, Mr. Howard Spence. No hunting license. Okay. No criminal record. Well, now he's got an arrest record. Uh, drunk biker. Howard Spence. Victims not applicable. Report. Mr. Spence was seen uh, driving, operating his bicycle while under the influence of alcohol. Fled when stop was attempted. And sign it. And upload it. Done. This one we can delete. That was just a ticket. That was something that didn't work. We're still waiting on prisoner transport to get here. Which shouldn't be too much longer. It looks like they're down the street. Maybe they're lost. They're lost. So we're going to cancel PT. And we'll just take them ourselves, I guess. Let's try prisoner transport one more time, see if they give us one that's a little bit closer. Ah, perfect. How's it going? Yeah, he's going for uh, uh, fleeing and looting. He's very intoxicated, so you might want to uh, March, Marchman as well. I appreciate y'all. Take care. And yeah, one, four, five. Show me tonight. All right, guys. That's going to do it for this video. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did. Consider following or subscribing or whatever the uh, whatever it is on YouTube. I'm just trying to get to 100 subs by uh, the end of the year. Not a huge milestone, just you know, a little something to shoot for. Uh, in the meantime, until the next video, be good to yourselves, be good to others, bring happiness in the world. This is Jay. See ya.